Have you ever wondered how aviation safety is managed on a global scale? To understand this, we need to look at the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO. This body is responsible for developing international standards and regulations to ensure the safety and efficiency of air travel worldwide. One of their most significant contributions to aviation safety is Annex 19. But what exactly is this Annex 19? It's a dedicated document focusing on safety management within the aviation industry. By consolidating safety management provisions from six other annexes, Annex 19 provides a comprehensive and unified approach to enhance safety in aviation. It lays down the responsibilities of states and aviation organizations, outlining the critical elements of a state's safety oversight system. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve deeper into the genesis of this crucial document. So, where did Annex 19 originate from? It's an intriguing tale that began during the International Civil Aviation Organization's high-level safety conference in 2010. The conference proposed the development of an entirely new annex dedicated to safety management. This was a significant move, a proactive response to the evolving complexities of aviation safety. Fast forward a bit, and we find the first edition of Annex 19 becoming applicable on the 14th of November, 2013. This edition consolidated existing safety management provisions from six other annexes, a step towards unifying and strengthening aviation safety. But the evolution of Annex 19 didn't stop there. On the 2nd of March, 2016, Amendment 1 was adopted. This led to the publication of the second edition on the 11th of July, 2016. This edition introduced new and amended standards and recommended practices, extending the safety management system applicability to organizations responsible for engine and propeller design. With its roots firmly established, Annex 19 grew to incorporate key components that we'll discuss next. What exactly does Annex 19 entail? Let's delve into the heart of this document and explore its key components. At the core of Annex 19 lie the four components of the State Safety Program, or SSP. These components are State Safety Policy and Objectives, State Safety Risk Management, State Safety Assurance, and State Safety Promotion. Each of these components plays a vital role in a comprehensive approach to aviation safety. Now let's move to the Safety Management System, or SMS. This is a systematic approach to managing safety, and it includes four key elements. Safety Policy and Objectives, Safety Risk Management, Safety Assurance, and Safety Promotion. So in essence, the SMS is a microcosm of the SSP, but it's applied within individual aviation organizations. These components are not just theoretical constructs, they are practical tools that guide aviation safety on a daily basis. They help to identify hazards, assess risk, and implement effective measures to mitigate those risks. Understanding these components underscores the importance of safety management in aviation. Why is safety management so vital in aviation? Let's dive into it. At its core, safety management is about preserving life and property, in the aviation world, this translates to protecting passengers, crew, aircraft, and infrastructure. It's about identifying potential hazards and mitigating risks before they result in actual harm. Consider the example of bird strikes. By analyzing data on bird populations, migration patterns, and airport environments, aviation authorities can proactively manage this risk. They might modify airport habitats to discourage nesting, or use bird-scaring techniques during critical phases of flight. Another example is runway incursions. Advanced Surface Movement Guidance and Control Systems, or ASMGCs, provide controllers with a clear, real-time picture of airport surface traffic. With this technology, they can spot potential conflicts and take action before they escalate into incidents. We can't predict every possible scenario, but with a robust safety management system, we can anticipate many risks and act to prevent them. Safety management, as we've seen, is a proactive measure. But just like any system, it needs updates and improvements. How has Annex 19 evolved over time? Well, 
let's delve into the updates and amendments that have shaped its journey. The first edition of Annex 19, dedicated to safety management, became applicable in November of 2013, consolidating safety management provisions from six other annexes. Fast forward to March of 2016, Amendment 1 to Annex 19 was adopted. This led to the publication of the second edition in July of the same year. This second edition integrated state safety management responsibilities and critical elements of a state safety oversight system. It also introduced new and amended SARPs, standards and recommended practices, to facilitate implementation. Plus, it extended SMS applicability to organizations responsible for engine and propeller design and enhanced protections for safety data while clarifying definitions for safety information. These amendments reflect the dynamic nature of aviation safety. But what are some common questions people have about Annex 19? What are some burning questions about Annex 19? Let's dive right in. One common question is, what is the purpose of Annex 19? Well, Annex 19 serves to enhance safety management in aviation. It consolidates existing safety management provisions from six other annexes into one comprehensive guide. Another query we often hear is, when did Annex 19 come into effect? The first edition of Annex 19 became applicable on the 14th of November 2013. A third question frequently asked is, what are the key components of Annex 19? Annex 19 primarily outlines the four components of the state safety program and the safety management system framework. Lastly, a question that pops up regularly is, what were the updates in the second edition of Annex 19? The second edition, published on the 11th of July 2016, integrates state safety management responsibilities and critical elements of a state safety oversight system. It also extends SMS applicability to organizations responsible for engine and propeller design and enhances protections for safety data. Having answered these FAQs, it's clear that Annex 19 has a global impact. How does Annex 19 shape the international aviation landscape? A question that leads us to the heart of Annex 19's global impact. Annex 19, since its inception, has been a game-changer in aviation safety management worldwide. It serves as a common language for aviation safety, setting the bar for international aviation regulations. Countries across the globe adopt Annex 19 to ensure a uniform approach to aviation safety. From the United States to Australia, from Canada to South Africa, aviation regulators incorporate Annex 19's provisions into their national regulations. This global compliance highlights the universal acceptance of Annex 19 as the gold standard in aviation safety. Best practices also emerge from this global adoption. Countries share their successful experiences in implementing safety management systems, facilitating learning and improvement. These shared experiences foster a culture of safety, where learning and adaptation are key. Annex 19 does more than just establish rules, it creates a global community that strives for the highest level of aviation safety. A community where safety is not just a requirement, but a shared commitment. Annex 19's global impact also extends to overall safety performance. How does Annex 19 enhance safety performance? A good question to ponder. Annex 19, born out of the International Civil Aviation Organization's dedication to safety management, plays a pivotal role in improving overall safety performance. It achieves this by consolidating safety management provisions from six other annexes, integrating state safety management responsibilities, and outlining the critical elements of a state safety oversight system. To bring this to life, let's consider a case study. Imagine a world without Annex 19, where safety provisions are scattered across various documents and there's no consolidated approach to safety management. This fragmentation could potentially lead to overlooked safety protocols, resulting in a higher risk of incidents. However, with Annex 19 in place, aviation organizations have a clear, comprehensive guide to safety management. This has resulted in a more proactive approach to identifying and mitigating risks ultimately leading to fewer incidents and an increased level of safety in aviation. 
This is a testament to the power of Annex 19. But it's important to remember, safety performance however, is not static. It evolves with time and technology. Why are regular updates to Annex 19 necessary, you may ask? Well, the world of aviation is not static. It's a dynamic industry, continually evolving with advancements in technology and new understanding of safety challenges. From more efficient engines to cutting-edge navigation systems, the technological landscape is constantly changing. And with these changes come new safety considerations. Just as we wouldn't use a century-old aviation map to navigate today's skies, we can't rely on outdated safety standards to govern an industry that's always on the move. Each update to Annex 19 is a response to these shifts, ensuring that the regulations remain relevant and effective. But it's not just about technology. Updates also reflect our growing understanding of human factors in aviation safety. As we learn more about the role of mental health, fatigue and other human elements in aviation incidents, Annex 19 needs to adapt. Emerging safety challenges, such as the integration of unmanned aerial vehicles into airspace, also necessitate regular updates. It's a constant process of learning, adapting and improving. As we've seen, Annex 19 is a living document, continually evolving to meet new challenges. What have we learned about Annex 19? We've delved into its origins, sparked by the high-level safety conference in 2010. We've dissected its core components, namely the state safety program and the safety management system framework. We've underscored its critical role in enhancing aviation safety and how it encourages proactive risk management. We've studied its recent amendments and their impact on the aviation industry. We've addressed frequently asked questions and explored its global influence. We've also analyzed its role in improving overall safety performance and the necessity of regular updates, given the rapid evolution of aviation technology. If you're eager to delve deeper into Annex 19, there are numerous resources available. For starters, the ICAO's official website is a treasure trove of information. Skybrary, an online aviation safety encyclopedia, is another excellent resource. We hope this video has offered valuable insights into Annex 19 and its pivotal role in aviation safety. Until next time, fly safe!